I think we're good. Okay, we got it now. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, another part of my idea of just documenting the creative process. A lot of it is alone. And that's kind of what my video last week kind of started with. Is It's called Photograph With Me. Uh, it's on my YouTube already, like I said last week. Uh, it's youtube.com slash bsmitty. YouTube.com slash bsmitty. Say that again. I'm a little tired. It's about and it's 11:30 at night, and as always, I'm always trying to get some content done. Um, I'm terrible at getting photos edited and up. That's become my habit of 2017 is actually not editing my photos, but I'm still shooting um, all the time. So I just need to get on a better program of editing. What I need to do is get in a better program of like batch editing. Um, I, um, part of the idea is kind of show my editing process, which is insanely, uh, simple. Um, there's nothing special about it. Um, I really don't go in depth with editing. Um, it's definitely, uh, you know, I have a style that I look for in my photos. I, I, I generally shoot what I like to shoot and I kind of have an idea what I want to look like. Um, I do shoot. Uh, raw photos and um, yeah I don't do too much to them so let's let's get into it here so these are photos I just threw in from when I was shooting photos in Medina for that photograph with me video there's some random shots uh, Lightroom kind of starts off if you're wondering like when I click on a photo it'll look blurry at first and then it pops in um, I think it's just because they're large raw files it just takes a second to load up um, so yeah these are some shots that I did. Um, I posted this one. And yeah, I like that one. Um, yeah, these are just photos I shot during that time. And yeah, that's something I was kind of uh, debating if I was going to actually show uh, myself editing because I don't really want to be like, oh, this is what I do to make my photos look the way they do. but. I think it's, it's kind of dumb because you can look at someone's photo and generally figure out how to make colors the same. I mean, it's there, it's no secret. <laughs> um, you know, it's not like, yeah, I mean, you can look at any photo and replicate it. So I figured, why not? It'd be a fun thing to do. This will actually get me real excited to edit in a weird way. It'll be like, because at least for me, like the art life is just like a very, uh, you know, I'm in my world. And I, I think in a very strange way, I think that's why I've made more videos this year um, and why I, con why I want to continue really focusing with YouTube and uh, kind of have that really side by side with my photography is it, it allows my world to be worldwide, technically. You know, it, it just, uh, you know, you being here watching it is an amazing thing to me. Um, when I was growing up, when I like would film things like when uh, you know skateboarding and you know anything, you know I always had had a camera. Used to film a, with a huge uh, um, old school like VHS cameras, and I would have never imagined like the insane technology we have now. It's 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 crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this one. Um, I think I'd like to do uh, more of these with like batch editing. I'm just gonna do one. Um, this would be a kind of a good thing and be like, you know, to kind of see what I do. Um, so I know there's a lot of debate out there about presets. I use presets maybe, well, that's the thing. I don't use a preset and call it a day, um, uh, cause no photo is the same. Uh, sometimes I'll use it for like a starting point. Um, especially if it's something that's kind of, that kind of feel like I, I'll know right away if I feel like it needs it to start, to kind of get me in the, uh, groove. Um, which m me editing photos doesn't take much, much time, but these are really old presets. I don't know if these are sold the same. I got these, I want to say like, wow, it's probably six years. I, I feel like it's been, I mean, it's a long time ago. Um, so I generally use the, somewhere like around the STO ones. Um, it also depends. You know, it's, um, you just never really know. So, like, this is, you know, pretty, uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot. They're not pretty, but it's, it's like a kind of has a lot going on with it. But so that's kind of where I kind of start. It's like, so, okay, say if I want to start there. You know, I have a look. I guess that's one thing that's hard to explain. I can't really explain the look that I'm actually looking for. Um, I think you'll just kind of tell by a style, and I think that's what's important is for you to figure out a style um, of what you're doing, what you want to shoot, and how you want them to look. And I think just over the years, I've just kind of, I know exactly what I'm looking for. With these presets, they have like some grain. Uh, yeah, I get rid of that stuff. I don't want no grain. Um, so let's, let's get things started with this. So with photography, with me, I think if you want something to be dark, it needs to be dark. If you, you know, it, I think there's a kind of a weird thing with that in photography too, is about blacks. Um, is like, that's one actual, it's, this will be a little insight of what I've been thinking lately. It's soon it'll be getting dark really early. And I guess it'll be getting dark at like five o'clock here in like a month or two. And it might be a couple months. I don't even know when time changes this year. But um, I want to shoot a lot of photos like with it being dark. Like not even worry about things being lit up. So that's a little bit of insight I've been going on. Like things going on in my brain lately. But anyway, so like this photo here. So... I'm gonna start with some, a lot of times. I'll just start with clarity, though, like just to kind of get things rolling. So I like the, yeah, you know, like the things to, you know, have some depth to it. You know, make it look a little bit. You know, it kind of pops it up. You can just kind of check it out from here already. Just that alone makes it, you know, a big difference. I'm gonna pop it up a little bit. Let's see. A lot of times, see that will brighten it a little bit, as you can tell here. Kind of gives. The highlights a little boost there. So one thing I don't really like here is this kind of yellowish situation. So what I do there is go down to here and let's go saturation. Let me just kill that yellow. Not all the way though. So the problem with that, that though it took away this which was mostly actually kind of like orange looking. So what we want to do or what I want to do, what you want to do, whoever wants to do it, uh, bring that orange back. And your wall's better. Not nearly as bad. Um, so let's get back to the blacks. So I'm not going to really adjust any more of the blacks. Like apparently the preset had it, which is probably why I like that preset. Um, like there's photos that call for things to be real dark, and I don't, I don't think you should be like, oh, you should see everything in the blacks, because... Yeah, that's a whole other story. But um, I feel that way though with like certain, well, with like, I feel like this doesn't look like how I shot it. So this is what it looks like when I shot it. See what I'm saying? Look at the door. Look at the trash can. I mean, it's, it's insane. Just that shadows tool alone is one of my favorite tools. It's just, it's nice. It just, Good. So I'm gonna actually check out these this highlight thing. It's a little bit better. Okay. Another problem we have going on with this is uh, a lot of, and it's probably how I edit. You know, I I just kind of go full. I'm not using brushes. Rarely do I use brushes. And like I say, I don't. But um, I have used brushes, but. It's something that's like so obvious that I need to use it, which is not often. Um, so okay, this is a problem I have right now. This door and this handle and stuff's looking blue. So this is my this is another this whole thing is a whole nother like it's a just as good as shadows tool. I mean it's something I use. One thing right away before you hit that is like um, greens. Like look at these greens, they're so dull. That's a big problem with like me living in Ohio. A lot of things are screen green plants, green trees. I think I was struggling with that one point. It was like, I just don't know, you know, it just kind of bothers me. I think what it is, is just like when you photograph uh, like anything with like, you know, bushes or anything like that in it, it's just kind of boring, <laughs> which is, you know, I actually really enjoy boring photos, but 
I enjoy a good boring photo. So this green got numbed down too as well. So let's see, this is where it would, it would be kind of whatever. There's still stuff piled on top of it, but generally if I punch it more, it's a, such a big difference. So it was here with that one, but let's go back to zero. Just that, just a huge difference. It's for me. Green also, I like to pop this. Not too, not too much. Just a little, just a little. So yeah, look, look at the green. Yeah, that's more like how it was when I was there. And it's not like I'm really trying to make it how I was like when I was there, because I definitely am more on the warm side. Um, I like things that kind of have like a little bit of that kind of going on. Um, but strange because also it's like I have like a mix of even like how I have like sometimes I use that preset this I think from how I edit and what I tweak around is it really just an overall warm photo and I think that's kind of I guess to me that's a good way to explain my style anyways let's go back to this blue I don't want this white looking like this so saturation blue let's just kill it I think this is a good good way to do it too. So if you're kind of like wondering how much to do, I just you can play around, you know. So right here you'll you'll get an idea where all the blues are popping up. So you got a little bit by the handle, you got some in the middle there, you got some at the right side corner, at the top. Um. So yeah, I mean we don't we don't really need any of that blue because it's not important and it's just kind of uh not really part of what's going on. So let's just kill it. It's gone. So let's pop in here. All right, so let's do, so as before, now the after. Yep, just checking it out. So here's a good spot here. And then so let's pull that blue back so you see where it was kind of at before. Sorry, zero, I believe. And let's bring it back. Yeah, it's just more, more true to the scene. I think it's not like I'm trying to make it like real, like oh, this is how I see it. The photo should look like this, but I don't really want things to look like different than they're actually really supposed to look. If that makes sense. If something's not really supposed to be blue or have a blue tint to it because of something else I'm doing, obviously get real crazy and kind of like mask things. And, but I, obviously, a photo like this, you can kind of just kill that tint that was going on and move on. I usually edit real fast. So, like, once you have a, a program going on, I mean, you just, you just fly right through it because you know what you need to do right away. Let's see. I think the luminous of the blue is probably good not to do because it probably just. Yeah, you don't want to do that. It just kind of makes it too dim. So let's I'll give it a little bit extra, actually. See how it's looking. Yeah, I'm actually going to go back to these highlights. It's pretty good. I'm actually going to pop these shadows a little bit more as well. Just crank that a little bit more. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, this is something I use. Uh, something didn't quite seem right with the overall photo, the vibrance tool. I use this in every photo. Yeah, that's something that wasn't kind of seeming right there. Yeah, that's a pretty important tool for me as my photos. So this is, yeah, that's a good example. So this is my kind of, I'm pretty much done editing. So if this is like me being done editing, how like without the vibrance. And then once you add that vibrance, you can really tell that you know, it really kind of just enhances what I've done. It kind of brings it more to like what I'm looking for with my style and pretty much what I was explaining a little bit before. So there's the before. There's the after. Real big difference. I think I'm pretty good with this. There's really nothing, nothing I'm really too stressed on. I don't really get picky with stuff. I don't really, I don't. Like I'm not like trying to like take things out that's bothering me. I, I, I don't even mess with that. So um, yeah. So before.
after. And that's pretty much what I do. So, yeah, this is cool. I, I'm really enjoying this idea, and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to doing more. Having like a little batch of photos ready and kind of just going through them and kind of just, you know, talking to you guys, which is kind of cool. You know, I, it's just cool that you can do that, and, you know, I'd love any type of feedback, you know. Uh, it's cool. You know, whatever you guys say is cool with me. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, give a like to this video uh, if you enjoyed it, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon.